shit you never had. Money coming, yeah, I'm thumbing, bitches stay mad. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Talk Spicy Hut. It's the Lit One Rips, and I'm ready to talk my shit. <laughs> I like my little slogan. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, who, who do we have with us today? It is, it is I. <laughs> you get me a connection in the room. Oh, it's oh. me, Gordon. <laughs> no, who the fuck is it? Y'all just like Gordon. <laughs> just me. Yeah. Um... Back again. Back again, friends. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. I think I think we needed a little follow up episode, you know. Not we'll get to that in a minute. But everything else, like we could just today's episode. <laughs> we're happy. We're happy today. I'm happy to be here. Yes. <laughs> you can see look at her teeth. Look at her teeth. Um, so we're gonna talk about friendship. I think it's it's getting cold out, you know. Some women are leaving their friendships and going off into relationships. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm about to be by myself for a little bit. All my friends about to be <laughs> 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 I'll be back. Yeah. Um, and I just think it's obviously a topic that you can always talk about, like, especially just girl wise, like, it's hard to it's hard to find a good girlfriend. Especially after what they're about to see. Huh? I said, especially after what they're about to see, yeah. We can talk about it. <laughs> so we'll just jump right into that oh. and then we'll and then we'll roll into Wait, 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 wait. So <laughs> in case you missed it, I definitely highly recommend if you did not see the last episode, pause the video right now. Go back to episode two. Watch that and then please return to your place because we're just gonna do a little quick little recap on the will. Yeah. Yeah, so if you if you would like to do the honors and we can jump right into episode Take <laughs> friend. Hey, take it back. <laughs> take it back. No, get it. Assume the position. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> now that we're back. I don't have the nails anymore, but yeah, familiar. <laughs> Mine is a smile. <laughs> oh, it's cool. We're going to that. Yeah. So what, man? I don't even know where to start. I think I'm just gonna let you start there because I don't. I I don't know. You go. That was a rough day <laughs> for both of us. But the true, a true test of friendship, which we are talking about, and mm-hmm. you know, like you said, just really brought us closer because being there for you in that moment was important to me to just be there for you. Yes, I know. And I felt like you were there for me. It's hard for me to receive um, support from my friends because I'm always, you know, the strong friend. Like I, don't, you know, and I can genuinely say I felt supported by you 100. percent And like. When you love somebody, this goes, however, like platonic relationship. Why, when you love somebody and you can feel that bond grow deep, you can physically feel it. Like I feel it in my heart that we're close. I feel the pain too. Like, and it goes hand in hand. I yeah. can definitely feel every ounce of that. And that day. might be what it is. Like you have to be able to. You don't have to, but um, to be able to relate to somebody and actually feel the feelings of what yeah. somebody's situation is. That hurt me like, too. Yeah. I heard our own dynamic. Like, oh, we we buried a friend today. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> okay, so let let's talk about it. So you came. What was your purpose on being there with me? In your so, you know, I hate to disappoint. I like top flight security was a good one. That was one of my favorites because that's that that's essentially what it was. I mean, you already knew enough fighting, but if there was fight to be done, that was that I was there. Uh-huh. But really just emotional support and being that it wasn't my situation, but I was involved. I was there. Mm-hmm. I was there. Like, and you're, you're a mutual friend of very close. Mm-hmm. I hung out with each of you individually before y'all even hung out. So it was mm-hmm. devastating. Yeah. Devastating. Absolutely. Clench pearls. And so I, I'm just going to talk about, you know, your perspective from it all. So I obviously from the episode, you can tell I've known for like nine months about the whole thing. And I just told you 
the month prior. Yeah. Because that we recorded that September. I told you back in August, like what had happened. And when I tell you, when I told Courtney about what happened and what I knew, like she was so mad, I had to be like, "What do you do?" That's not. I have a plan. <laughs> Just don't trip out. Let this shit play out. And I under I completely understand you're angry and you're wanting to hurt the girl and like I, I and I and that is and that's why I love you because that was genuine. Like you got pissed the fuck off. And I'm like, bro, chill, chill, bro. Like, hey, I'm I'm good. I promise I'm gonna figure this shit out. <laughs> See. See, I mean, this is a two-hour drive, so we're both boo-boo crying, and then we turn on your music and just shake ass for a slew. Yeah. Like, like, this bitch was with me in this video. <laughs> hey! I can be okay. Up. Okay. I was like for a month. I was just excited for the month. It so, okay, that episode. That shit played out for a few years. Okay, so day of, I invite you over. I tell you, or maybe three days before it was set, you, I, I told you, like, hey, I need you. We're gonna it's go going down. down. It's coming down. It's going down. That was, so yeah, the couple days before the weekend. I was yeah. like, let me get a two methodology. You know, I have there. to call her, like, prep her, so, because I didn't want to catch her off guard and it go left, you know? And and so, we weren't speaking at the time anyways. We haven't really been talking since maybe April or so, my birthday. And y'all were pretty close, in my opinion. Y'all were close friends. There's already distance growing, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm not really sure whether here or there because we can trail back around that at the end of yeah. maybe what happened afterwards. Yeah. But leading up to it, yes. Um, the fact that we were on the way here and I made that trip and I wasn't expecting her to beat me here so that was just mm-hmm. I didn't have any time to repair it I just felt like it, it just all happened so fast so Courtney knew for like a couple weeks and then I told her it was happening I was dropping the ball on the podcast she was here for me she was on the way and I'm like hey old girl's on the way too she's about to pull up like get here <laughs> hurry up hurry up there were maybe there were maybe 10 minutes between each other like we weren't here alone too too much uh, by ourselves to give me the time to you know, even get into anything because I, I just started saying like I, I can't do this. I physically I can't do it. I literally was losing out to and fucking just information. I'm loading. Yes, I was about to die. Holding that shit in. I'm not dead. Okay, so time comes, you get here, everything's fine. <laughs> everything's not fine, but you <laughs> everything is not fine. <laughs> you, but I don't, I was faking like it was. Yes, I mean, if we, I feel like we put on a break front, I mean, I just didn't have, I was just like, what is this? Just praying. I think I was praying over here. Like, I just. Yeah. Courtney had more anxiety about it than I did, and I think that was because she, it was all short notice, it was very quick for her. For me, I've had nine months to sit on this and like think about how I want to bring it up and just think about how I want to address her and you know once I knew that she wasn't going to tell me I had to figure out what would make sense for me you know I didn't want it to be random and not have my thoughts together and or say something out of anger I wanted to make sure that I addressed it in the most genuine way possible um that's what got me through it that's what got me through it because I was like I'm here for I aspire to be able to be calm, please, like, like that. <laughs> and thank God for my podcast, which again, every, you know, I'm a troll, whatever the fuck. Listen, this is my safe space. I feel most comfortable, like, because I always want to hold myself accountable, and I think saying things on camera will make me do so, because, like, bro, you said, okay, let's run it back. But in real life, a motherfucker will try to gaslight you and think you said some shit. No, that's not how it happened, baby. I addressed you, blew our shit. That was my first one, so it's a little better. Cause yeah. That was just saying. Yeah, yeah. You did it. You did it. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the episode. So we got to see the video beforehand. And hindsight, what do you think about it? It's very hard to watch for, like, 
like having such genuine feelings for you. It, it's it's like a like a sad movie. Like when the partner dies, like it is right. It is right there in the field, and it's so hard to rewatch. Um, and again, it's easy to misconstrue when you really don't know the situation, and you're not necessarily, you know, wearing the shoes or mm-hmm. what have you. Yeah. <laughs> I was not in defense of that girl. How about that? How about that? They, 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 no, <laughs> so, so, because we, we rewatched it. I think she's seen it better than I did with four eyes and, and, and exposed it to. So there were some things that I missed. And, you know, that was a long ass episode. So there had to be like cuts made. There had to be some little parts of the conversation that were taken out. So like when me and Courtney are engaging, Courtney's not sticking up for the girl. Like, Courtney is completely on my side. But also, this is a, a podcast that I never want anything, I don't care what it is, even regarding me, to be one-sided. Mm-hmm. I also want somebody who can relate to what the other person is saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I also want somebody that can relate to what the other person is saying. Different like perspective. You, you, right. So you were given a different perspective saying you been not friends before many moons ago. We're going to call that assault and murder. Right? But, <laughs> you can't compare the two, but you know, like, it's, it's just, a crime. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, I think that's the message. It's me and Courtney weren't, weren't arguing during it. I just was like, no. And she was like, no, be mad about this, too. And I was like, I don't want to be mad about that. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not mad about this, Gooby, bitch. And in reality, we were all just waiting for the word. Like, just, you know what? Fuck this bitch, Courtney. Get him. Yeah. Get yeah. ass. Yeah. And, okay, so <laughs> let, me, let me give my other two cents. I've obviously had conversations after we dropped the clip now with several other people, and I have one person say to me why they feel I'm so, um, like just disconnected from the situation and, and I'm not so much focused on her sleeping with him. It's more so her lying to me because that situation caused me so much trauma. So I'm trying to disassociate with it. Like that, that act has nothing to do with me. You did this to me. You lied to me. You fuck him. But you lied to me. And I, so I can't, I think where I'm at in my healing journey, I can't, that would be backstepping for me. Absolutely. If I were to get mad about, when we did talk about that, you would have to lower your energy so low to even have that type of emotion about that. Like, <laughs> I would kill myself to be mad at you. Sleep <laughs> my fucking car. Oh. <laughs> Which yeah. is just, Growth unimaginable sometimes for me that it does not have that emotional intelligence yet. That is trying to learn and self heal and wanting to get to that level. It's important to be able to see that, to have role models, kind of people that I look up to in my life to display that type of maturity. Mm-hmm. Like that is all it boils down to is just maturity, mm-hmm. being grown women, having grown women friends. Like, yeah. it's, it's so weird to even look at myself like that, but I heard it so much after you know now that everybody knows about the situation I have to receive it you know I have to like okay you know what you really are like you really like I have to post a child (laughs) (laughs) you (laughs) you don't think it will (laughs) oh no my name is Ritzy Ryan I approve this (laughs) message Okay, so we that was something that we noticed on the episode. Mm-hmm. And then about her reaction, how do you read it? Like, now, when I tell you, look, we, again, I have mentioned this, but just sitting over here, just watching the bomb drop, even though I could feel it dropped on myself, too. I'm like, what is it coming? Oh, damn, she done said it. Oh, she done said, said it. But this girl, <laughs> this girl over here, like, <laughs> she can do Chicken and weed, dad. Mm, dad, it was, it was, but, you know, I was like, okay, but, but here we are, we're here. Yeah. Here we are. Shook it. Yeah. Shook it. Hindsight again, so watching the episode, I didn't realize that she lied about it. 
Oh yeah, well, on the thing. Again. On the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you tried to lie again. No, I didn't. In another safe space, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm kicked back. God, I couldn't be more relaxed. I could have sunk into the couch more to try to let her feel comfortable. I couldn't get one of these on you. God, I'm like leaning, like, bro, I ain't even about to. That is fine. Let it go. Why are you lying to me? Um, yeah, so I think, honestly, because like I said, even still, don't hate me. Whatever. Just the lights and the camera, like, <laughs> you just, you lie, you <laughs> kind of keep the lie, and then you continue to say that you feel so many need now that it's been off your chest. You're, you're really? You know, all that goddamn giant. A bowl of a lot. You're really. It's, it's oh, yes. I absolutely the audacity. Because what the fuck? You're really, you're really you and, and to me that just shows that's out there. The friendship's still so one sided. You know, with the you're gonna continue the the lie and then um the I feel so much better and then the No, I was gonna tell you that I didn't even know it was that was almost two years so longer than right. fucking that you what? Right. You go ride that shit and kill me. You're gonna go forever. And drag it out. I just found out. out. Just found out, and I thought it was close to that time. Oh, it's time about a year and a half before it. Oh. Wait a minute, I'm We've been bringing like a tour. Several, me and you took road trips together. Like, alone. I'm crying. Well, I'm Googling my pills. I'm going through divorce paperwork filings. I'm going through. Fucking legal shit with this man, and all the time you know what the fuck you guys did. Engaging. Engaging. <laughs> Engaging in the conversation. Right. And so that after. Yeah, fuck that nigga. You ain't did, bitch. Right. When she left, <laughs> that I, I didn't know then that I wouldn't like feel how I feel now, but I definitely am glad that I got it on camera. Out. Yeah. Because speaking of that, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was that one of our conversations? Yes. yes. <laughs> what happened after the podcast? After the camera's cut, she stayed. She had an option to leave. Like, uh, I mean, at first, you know, you can say if you want to be like, I'm not, I don't hate you. Mm-hmm. Right? I, and I did say that several times, to. which I still, I still stand on that. Like, I didn't, I never wanted it to be a bully situation. I think I was so. Again, leaning so deep into, I don't want you to feel threatened or unsafe. Like, you can get this. I try to walk her out. I don't know. <laughs> but again, the audacity. I, if I got called out, I would have left. She was here for what, three hours? Two, three hours after. Yeah. <laughs> so you would have to tell me. So, yes. Um,. The question was, was um, old girl apologetic? The crying after, after the camera's cut, it was what it was for me, where we had a conversation outside where it couldn't be heard or recorded. I don't appreciate that the remorse was shown afterwards. I mean, I'm sure it was a shock and everything, but what is what left is there to say? What left is there to do? You know, when you ask, oh, well, Ashley, how do we belong from this? And there is no answer at the time being. What is um eating a dead horse? Remember that when it said came to this girl came to a repast like this is you know, this is you. Yeah. yeah. But so it was going on, clinging on probably the wood class. Like you, she knows that this is the last time we're all gonna see each other. Mm-hmm. In reality, that um, definitely okay. that there was definitely that cloud of uh, mm-hmm. this oh is, yeah, this might be my last or is this last to rock. For this bitch around for me, and then it's a bunch of casualties. So, so that happened. She did. She we hung, we hung out. You know, we talked about it most of the time. Most of the conversation was us talking about it. Yeah, yeah, the time frames. I knew this that turned me on. How I knew the way you hit your face. I was like, I knew. <laughs> that shit <just> did fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you. Know, <laughs> You knew a lot of that too. There was a And her, um, when you asked what she remorse apologetic, and that's when I'm so sorry. I didn't know how to tell you. 
I don't feel like she was really sorry. I think she was embarrassed. She was embarrassed. She's not sorry for it. She's sorry she got caught. That's that's how I feel about it. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't think she was sorry. I really, I don't. Um, and then, so the next morning, she sent me the following. I'm not sure where we go from here, but whatever it is, I can only accept it. I love you, girl. I'm genuinely ashamed and sorry. Thank you for being a true friend to me. Hopefully, with time, I can be the same for you. I'm going to give you this space. I feel you probably need to me. And when I got, I, I, I didn't text her back. Like, again, a, another, like, nail in the coffin type of thing. That message to me reads very well with me. I'm the victim. I'm going to give you space because, because I unfortunately hurt you. Like, bitch, who said I was going to give you the option to be around me? I never said that. I never said anything. You're making very assumptuous fucking accusations. Like, what are you talking about? It, it, it does seem very entitled. It was the entitlement of me forgiving her or you feeling like, how the fuck you feel is even valid right now? Oh, I don't give a fuck about how, how you feel. Yeah, but I don't feel sorry for you. Like, no, no, you, even, even after, the, after that conversation, I still genuinely don't feel like she felt bad about doing it. It was just, you're mad that I found out or upset. Cause now, cause now she's asking you, how, how long you know? She's asking, what does it matter? Focus on what you did. Then you know, why you did it? It's I really, I it. Never mind, go ahead. It's dead person. Why did you do that? You hate yourself. That's There's just... no way that. And again, those were things of speaking of experience that I felt that way that I really just, the self worth was at absolute zero. Like you just, and that's a very sad place to be, but at this, the ass age that we had, 43. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, now I'm all open. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I should just like pause the minute on the, the time frame on the. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to get to you. If you watched it, you know I'm 43. It's funny. <laughs> 43 doing this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> One thing, yes, the aftermath as far as like contact or intimacy that she sent you. And for me, it started with, you know, the. Can you talk about that? Like, I want you to talk about your. As if the audacity to think she's not my friend. She, she's going to tell me what the fuck you're the opposite saying. You are now an opposition. Go ahead. <laughs> As oh, so not, now I have something I typed in there and never said. <laughs> <What is that? laughs> so my first point of contact, which was when I was on the way home because it was late by the time. I just went ahead and got on through it. There's no look for that. Let me just go back home. Get my bed, be with my girlfriend, like get some at a piece of mind. Yeah. And she did ask me if I made it home, but in the same breath, asked me about our friendship, like if he feels Definitely towards me. I understand, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do. And I also think back to any interactions and try to keep like, was you, was you, was you being weird to me mm -hmm. and my partner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do yeah. you still have on Facebook and not? I might not have bought, but anyway, because you did something to her. I, and that leading into that, because what did I do that it became like you said you have to channel, you have to have something to channel that into and my friendship comes into call. Mm -hmm. Like as if I did something to our friendship, you did this to y'all's friendship and ours. Mm -hmm. And just one thing. You're, you're looking to project on how fucked up what you chose to do can affect other people. That's like if I see Courtney constantly going to jail for petty theft, like I, this is just an example. <laughs> I'm gonna start my shit from the bitch if I think that she's a thief. You know what I'm saying? So you broke trust from somebody who did absolutely nothing to you. How the fuck am I? You're fucking guilty by association. You're no guilty as charged. 
I or to bring up me saying about the mistakes that I have made in the past that were similar when I was yeah. a teenager and you did, and all of that. You're focused on the wrong shit, baby. You need to focus on what the fuck you did and how the fuck you need to fix it. Dig deep. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, dig deep. Dig deep. Because everything else is, is irrelevant. You want to, again, focus your anger out on, take your shit out on somebody else. You should be mad at yourself. You should be mad at yourself. Courtney didn't do shit. Like, God damn, you so went, like, anyways. But just, just look with it. Everybody just look with it. Go lay, yes. <laughs> Sit back on the couch. Yeah, yeah. Make sure no cameras is there because you're not good at lying. Um, <laughs> you're not good at it. Um, just look with them again. So, she said, whatever. And that's basically what it was. Yeah, she she yeah, my, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Like, my friendship with you should be called into question and you well you've been a bad friend yeah i have but not necessarily to you and then not in that gesture like that's that's necessarily me so other than that the communication has been i'm like i said i'm blocked on facebook mm-hmm. so, really blocked on weird, but Bo's gonna leave me with her location and her on facebook and everything had i not have cut that off like it would still be that because she still would have been more than you that makes sense. In a weird, it's that, and again, it's just so many house like fucking this 2020 girl. Why the fuck would you want to be around me? No, I couldn't speak to you. Even after the country. That is a negative. Why are you so upset with me? Real guys. That's that's the only thing Mm -hmm. that is insane right there. Yeah, because that, anything else doesn't make sense. Okay. Nothing else. So, um, what did I make some notes here about? Like, do you feel like our your point was made, or hmm. you know, were there things left unsaid? Do I feel like my point was made? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that very cut. Message recent. Obviously. I think my message was received by the reciprocant. Um, <laughs> I love a good big word. <laughs> I do think my message was received by the audience. I don't know. 20,000 people, I think they got it too. <laughs> Y'all got it. And that clip went crazy. That, I don't know how you did it. That clip went crazy. I don't even know. I don't even know how you didn't think it would. Like, that should be good. <laughs> oh, think that video the clip. Blow? The clip. <laughs> yes, yes, you yes, yes. Know. You should have known. The clip is going to blow up. Yes. Wait, how blew much up. you fucking played out? That got blew out right there. It's going to suck everybody in. Like, especially because, you I know, woke up and that shit was broken already. On the internet. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, niggas know y'all friends. That's weird. Niggas have yeah. seen her on your platforms before. For sure, for so sure. For that to be what it is. Yeah. Come on, son. Insane. Come on, son. All over my shit. Come on, son. Videos, uh, pics, trips, shit, lives. As soon as I seen that shit, it's a rap. I don't even think she realized how big this gonna go. Mm-hmm. Really did didn't. I, babe, did I not say that? Laying in the bed. Why even let me go to work that day? And by the time I went to work, your ass was going live because it was big. So shout out to motherfucking Infinite Dreams Productions, right? Okay. <laughs> because he did the little clip, whatever, sent it to me. And I was like, this the one. I'm keeping this one. Any, anything, yeah, anything else, I don't need it. I don't need nothing but a good a good part right as I said, right before we get into it. Man, what? What? Yeah, posted it. Motherfuckers writing me talking about thanks for the warning i was like that wasn't my mo but if you learn something <laughs> you're welcome you know what i'm saying i gotta Good i gotta do my do if you got the balls to know that you did some crazy shit like that you come on come on come on, come on. you bold come on. lights camera action idiot <laughs> idiot i'm sorry the like because there's no way i would have kept coming around I got it. Okay, we can move past that. But what was the question? (laughs) 
hindsight. Yeah, just <laughs> hindsight <laughs> shit. That's crazy. Because, okay, yeah, we can see we're going to talk about friendship because this is a, that's valid. Yeah, so. valid. Friendship is valid. Friendship means so much to me. Um, it, It's definitely something you grow into because I think as younger adults, in my opinion, me, if I had a relationship, that would be my, I'm heading, fuck y'all. But hoping not if, you know, your friends are still going to be there mm-hmm. if that doesn't work. And that's why I had to, like, me and Michelle rekindled our friendship because I knew that was, like, so important. Me and you have never had a falling out, you know? Once we got on, we just, it, our, our, we're, we're truthfully somebody who had a progressional relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, we met, we see each other once every blue moon. Then we, like, okay, bitch, spend the night with me for a weekend. Or I'm coming to visit you. We're planning girls. Like, we had a healthy growth of our friendship. And I think that's why we are where we are. Because it wasn't no fake shit. It wasn't no you trying to be around me all the time because you a weird ass bitch. No, I'm um, <laughs> Yeah, our trips to Charlotte, you can, when you, for me, my first, when I was like, Courtney, do fuck with me, when you came to Charlotte for my video, That's even so when I was, bad, that, bad, bad. somebody driving city, city to city, it ain't far, but you know, the effort. What? I love you and I appreciate it. Shit like that. Shit like that does not go fucking un unnoticed for me because if I'm doing that for you, I give a fuck. Yeah, I'm trying. That leads us into some of our questions, you know, about for me not growing up knowing how to like kinder childhood relationships. Like I have people that I've known since childhood. Right. And I have friends that I've known the longest, but I'm closer with sometimes friends that I've made. Mm-hmm. That, you know, newer friends day one but it was real since day one that's what i consider a day one not for whoever i've known the longest yeah you know or relationship mm. that you outgrow you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah knowing like true long lasting friendships that i know that if i put my time and effort into it even if i wasn't the best friend not always available or not always you know you, and that is a question of here like mm-hmm. friendship qualifications you know what's what's a bad friend what's a good friend what Mm -hmm. you need from your friends i don't know if that's situational or if that's something you grow up with knowing like that's something i don't really know i had to grow into friendships and knowing that like you said that's the people that i'm going to be calling like so how like how did when did you feel like okay i'm gonna i'm making a choice to be a better friend like what would do you remember that like point in your life for you you know I definitely specifically remember with hours, you know. Okay, just, just yeah. Just missing out with my friends and watching them have baby showers, have weddings, have events that I may have flaked on or said I was coming or they've asked me to come to. And then when I've really, like, boiled down to it, like, mm-hmm. I have, you know, a partner and I want to have a life in the future. Who's going to come to my place mm-hmm. if I have a wedding? Yeah. Nobody. So basically <laughs> when you started holding yourself accountable. Yes. Like yep. showing up, just yep. just doing that little bit. Cause I'm a distant friend. I like, we already got mm-hmm. we don't have to talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, if we do, cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. You Facetime, I'm gonna pick up. Yep. But yep. Yep. Know, yep. Yep. Every day is not necessary. Not required for sure. Just show, like truly showing up, showing up. Like mm-hmm. you said, make a difference. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a drive. I'm gonna go somewhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna pull up. Fuck. Like, Damn. I'm gonna pull up. Damn. Even even my little quick trips to Raleigh or whatever, I make sure. I love it. Hey. Uh, I'm here for from one to three. We gonna go get, <laughs> we gonna get some food. <laughs> All right, I'm in town from. I'm gonna try this place. Let's yes, go. yes. So I should have pulled too. We had seafood. I just pulled up one day. That and and we actually. did the breakfast one time. We did a Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I remember. Man, I remember shit like that, and that means so much I'm to me. I'm freezing through. Yeah, I don't know what time it is, but let's be. Careful. I do, and I'd be random. And you'll be random. Real bad. Yeah, but we, we're getting better. We're, I don't know. I love the space we're in. Like, I think we, <sighs> we it, just, it just makes me, it really makes me happy. It really makes me happy. I love it so much. <laughs> Next question. You're praising your soulmates. For real. Yes. Right. yes. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Oh. 
you know, okay, so when, and this does tie back into everything, friendships that no longer serve us. So mm. sometimes either, I'm, I don't know why she did what she did, sticking around mm. like that. <laughs> when that's a different type of no longer serve. When you outgrow it. Yes. You know, we took different paths where there's no beef, but. Right. They're, I don't think. They exist. Always, yeah. They definitely they exist. I, I, I don't have a loan. Yeah. And for me, um, I also started putting my friends like in homegirls or associates. Those are different people. Like th- this, my associate, we'll go out together. That's it. You don't know my business. Right. We don't kick it. You ain't sleep laying your head in my guest bedroom. Right. You know, I'm not cooking breakfast for you. Right. I don't... Hey, you putting it on this bottle? <laughs> we about to get drunk and go out. And that's the basis of our friendship. Or relationship, I should say. That's when you go on that first trip, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and it exposes who I can only party with you or who I could really, we could come to understanding each other. And, all right, how's this going to work for both of us? Right. We're not being so, fuck no, bitch, fuck. All right. Mine slowly started categorizing it to, like... <laughs> Yes or no? My long home girls I've had for a long time since high school that are also like with the the Venn diagram with the ones that have kids, my kid mom friends, my friends that I go on trips with, the ones that I really see, like Mm -hmm. talk to all the time. Mm -hmm. Different categories. My mom friends, shout out to them. Yeah, shout out, shout out to y'all. I will come sit around with y'all kids. Yeah, and and I tell I like to make sure that my mom friends know that. Like I will come chill, like I I'm not I'm only sure party. I love kids. Kids love rich. A bad court love kids. Kids love rich. Wait, wait, drop them off. You better start thinking. <laughs> Come on. Outside, I'll eat. Court it with the rich. <laughs> yeah, cause I, they about to be in the back on the court. They about to be playing outside. That's it. And I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> Sleep good. Sleep good. <laughs> Ty, as soon as you get them in a the car, buckle up the belt, start the car, sleep. You're welcome. Get a passive <laughs> and, and we do after hours. <laughs> yeah. That really was, y'all want to go club and y'all miss going out? Okay. All of that. Man, we could sell that shit so good. Come on, they got Just make sure, anyways, make sure the nigga take you out the one paying the babysitter because we going to tax. We going to tax. Deposit. <laughs> anyways, I was trying to start a business real quick. All right. Um, <laughs> I said, like, because we can't, we're not even gonna, we're gonna skip over the kids' topic. Right. Like, like, raise a lot of kids, but I'm gonna try. Quote, red kids. Professional TT. Right. For hire. <laughs> Ooh, professional TT. Like, what do you mean? Leave a review. <laughs> if you've ever been TT by me. <laughs> <laughs> Let the kids leave a review. No TT like Courtney. Mm-hmm. What you say? Mm hmm. No. Let's see. I think that's all I really got. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just, uh, okay. Do you feel a way when your friends, like your best friends or your close friends, you see them with other bitches? No, because either I probably knew about the plans and I just stayed away. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Because if it's, you know, best friend is a very tight term. Like, I don't know if you use it like three times. For sure. See, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm kitty. It's very yeah. delicate. Yeah. Do I call you my bestie, bitch? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> mean <something>. Yeah. <laughs> and look, I'm. If I call you my homegirl, you're just my so homegirl. Don't don't feel bad. I had three, and I. I think I'm down to one. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's different. It's yeah, different. But yeah, best season. Um. So, uh, no, I don't get that one. No, no, no. Let me not know about the plans. But you know what? I was taught. My dad has told me if he wasn't invited, don't ask to go. I was like, and also, if and I, I don't want to be there. I, that's what I was about to say. If I feel like somebody didn't invite me, I genuinely believe that I wasn't supposed to be there. Like somebody that I didn't want to be around, or it wasn't a vibe that I wanted to fuck oh, with. Y'all's gonna be doing some shit I wasn't on. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just mm-hmm. know. Yeah, it's it's. It's all in the cards already. I just know. Feel me? It's okay, but also, it's it really is that level. If you didn't invite me somewhere, we live in different cities, but... If, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, uh, a thing, like a Friday, real thing thing? What yeah. you doing Friday? Oh, nothing, and you do it so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's I always right. have to travel, so that's different. No, I don't, yeah. I don't have those problems, thank God. 
You know what? I get it with my girlfriend. I get FOMO with my girlfriend. Living That's in a different city yeah. and not having my friends around. Like, me time's important. I'm just like, but why do you want to go have fun without me? Like, mm-hmm. I want to have fun. Yeah. Like, I like fun. I like fun. Me and fun get along. You get to go have fun. I can sit up. <laughs> Wait, you come on. Oh, alone. <laughs> We're working on that because, you know, I just. And try to make friends. Like I, I don't like to do anything. Anyway, so Listen, well, friends. if you if you have like a decent hit up, that's the only thing I be need is because we live far apart. Yeah, Just give me a couple of days and I'll come. We we'll be doing you know something. We we'll be doing something. Get a couple okay. days. I need you. All right. Yeah. 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 All yeah. right. Yeah. We definitely. got a fun-filled October. Yeah. Uh, State fair. State fair. Mm-hmm. After this, because don't because I don't want to say what day we go on this because people are weird, know. but. Me and Great Me and Great Rissy Court. I like turkey leg. I like lemon light. Large lemon light. Refillable cup. Let me give out some. What up? $15? That whole combination? No. No, just the lemon light. Large lemonade. Refillable 20. For real. Oh, but I can't wait. But Shorty did send me a menu, so there's like some new... I, yeah, I've already made a list. Okay, okay. I don't have the math yet to wrap yeah. it out, but don't Let's math. do it. I talked to Sam, too. She probably wants to go. That'd be great. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Okay. I went with my friend and her kids last year. We went on Can Day. I highly do not recommend as far as the lines, but you bring your cans, you get them for fucking free, so whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much you need to stand up here. What about you? I don't that know happens. how many cans do you need. Hell yeah. Can day is uh, ne- the, like the last and everything else. Because oh. what's crazy is I literally have a bag in my pantry full of shit that I'm trying to. Anyways, and it is, I we mean, gonna... it's, again, for a good cause, it's just yeah, the, that's the too. crowd is so busy. Oh, okay, it makes sense. Is everybody getting food? Then I'm paying. Then I'll I'm paying. I'll cans anyways. Y'all can have some cans. Yeah. On my way. Huh. And it's not cans. Actually, anymore. I didn't know how to get rid of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cans. Huh? Here you go. We care. Yeah, love you. <laughs> and I'm paying this shit. <laughs> and I pay for parking. Yeah, October's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm thinking I don't know if I want to do Halloween or what I want to do. I don't think I'm gonna have a party. Though. We're going out of town, I guess. You said people. We're going oh, where y'all? Uh, New uh, York. Got the cameras. I'm just playing. I thought I didn't know if you more wanted to do the party, but I wanted to invite you. We came over. We're not doing the party. Yeah. Are y'all dressing up or y'all just going we're to New York? And jelly. Okay. Like, like sandwich? No, just like it, the hats say that we're. I'm gonna wear something cute and purple. Oh, uh, okay, Instagram. that's cute. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's simple. So okay, we'll we'll plan it. We'll plan it. I think I wanna go. I'd rather do that than go to fucking um, back to the. And that was cute. Yeah, but that everyone kept thinking she was Steve Harvey, and it was really annoying. Hilarious! <laughs> I gotta so see annoying. the pictures now. Got you. Um, did we finish the friendship conversation? I think we did. I think we wrapped it up nice and tight. We can make it enough of. Okay. Well, we are in a wonderful place and this that, genuine friendship. That's that what I was going to say. I genuinely I love you. I appreciate you. So I'm excited to see where our friendship continues to go. I We're am steady. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm proposing to her after this immediately actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're free age. No, I just really love you and I appreciate so you for being there for me. I really do. Thank you. Okay, well, you guys, you know, talk follow Talk Spicy Her on all platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, um, Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. You know what to do. Ritzy Ryan underscore if you try to fuck with the music because you know I got a little bit of bars. Okay. But stay tuned. Bye. Now that I wave my peace on. <laughs>